Hey, it's Jason from Bohemia Bees, and it is still winter here on the eastern shore of Maryland. We got a couple weeks left, and as you saw in our prior video, we checked to see if our hives were alive, and we fed them some fondant patties. So that's really what we did to continue to give them those emergency stores to get through winter. What we're going to do today, it's a little warmer out today again, not warm enough, but the bees are actually out. It's probably about 45, 50 degrees, and they're flying, which is great. Um, shows they're resilient and they are bringing in some pollen not sure where they're finding it it's bright yellow pollen could be from anywhere probably the tree lines and various other areas where there is some early blooms uh, maybe even the maples are starting to produce a little bit of pollen not much uh, we are looking at those and watching them to see when we need to start to continue to monitor our hives break into our hives but your key is to make sure that your hive has enough resources as they start to build up that small brood's nest to a larger brood's nest and moving into spring. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna actually put some pollen patties in, some pollen supplement. There is a little bit of pollen coming in, but we wanna make sure they have enough pollen and nutrients to continue to kind of move them into that, that, uh, that springtime. Uh, and we're gonna do that using uh, a product by Hive Alive. So again, we've used the Hive Alive product as you've seen before with the, uh, the fondant and Hive Alive has created a pollen patty. Uh, these are high-performance pollen patties with 15% pollen, added seaweed, nutrients, uh, has over 15% uh, real pollen, and 15% total pollen within the actual product. So we'll take a look at that. And they just come in regular patties. They're one-pound patties. This is a half a patty. We're going to cut them in half, put them on top of the, the brood nest. They give them some supplement uh, and so that the bees can actually continue to grow that brood nest into spring so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do that okay so this is a colony that we have here on the eastern shore in our apiary you can see the bees are coming to going cleaning out the dead um, there's some good activity at the entrance which means there's a good amount of volume of bees and if you watch closely you might see a few bits of pollen coming in on the uh the backs of these uh these foraging bees let's take a look inside the colony and see what we got Inside here, we've got that Hive Alive patty. You see the good amount of volume of bees covering about five of the 10 frames, which means that they are definitely a good colony, good strong colony, very calm colony, which is nice. And because it's not that windy today, we can just go ahead and quickly remove the lid, set it to the side, and put that pollen patty on. But let's take a look at these ladies. They're filling up beautiful they look great they look great they've got that hive alive patty over there that you can see they're feasting on and that's giving them that sugar carbohydrate that they need and we're going to take the pollen patty and it has the holes and we're going to take that and just set it right on the side over here just so they can get to it and they'll start to get the nutrients they need as well as well that's simple uh again making sure you monitor your bees you do not want to break into that propolis envelope as we like to call it this shim is sealed down they've sealed the wind gaps with the propolis when you start to break that and it's still cold out then you create gaps that the bees don't necessarily can close and it creates an issue with uh, the fluctuation of temperature within the colony thus creating more moisture than it's needed and then the that the moisture could drip down on the uh the cluster of bees Okay, so that's really it. We're gonna go ahead and put the lid back on. Now you notice we don't have an inner cover on this and we're gonna replace that shim. We'll pop that shim off when we get closer to uh, spring. We don't need them building extra comb in, the, uh, in this cavity on top. So we'll pop that here in the next week or two. We'll put an inner cover on, kind of continue to keep them maintained and uh, we'll be good to go. So there's what we need to do here on the Eastern Shore of Maryland. If you're wondering what you should be doing this time of year, then definitely uh, monitor your colony very quickly. If the weather is at 50 degrees or so or more, you can crack that lid, put some supplement on, whether it's the, the fondant that you're putting, extra sugar if you've done a dry sugar shim, uh, or put down your, uh, your uh, extra pollen patty. Uh, that's it, pretty much. Let's get uh, the bees closed up, continue to move down the line, get some of the other colonies taken care of. Thanks for watching here on Bohemia Bees. Appreciate everyone's support. Make sure you like and subscribe. Pound that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. You get alerted, hit the alerts bell, so you know when we have a new uh, video. We try to make a, a video as frequently as we can when we get out in the apiary. Uh, we have a full-time job in addition to our uh, beekeeping, so we only really get to make videos on the weekend. But we do like to uh, make content and share it with our community, so make sure you uh, subscribe, follow, share, follow us on whatever social platform you like, 
Uh, we're going to actually be selling these uh, Hive Alive products on our website. So visit us there if you're a local beekeeper or if you want us to ship you a few um, you know, of the Hive Alive uh, products and amongst other things that we do sell. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And remember, here at Bohemia Apiary, beekeeping is definitely more than a hobby. It's, it's an obsession. Thanks for watching, everyone.